Hey, as expected, the 10th generation iPad is officially out. And at least from my perspective, it deserves all the attention in the world. I have to say that many leaks that we've heard in the meanwhile turn out to be true. So let's run through what we saw. And I will share with you my opinion, what's good and what really pisses me off. So without further ado, let's talk about the iPad 10. But first question for you, what's your opinion about this year's budget iPad? Please answer in the comment below. Hi friends and welcome to this Tomarking channel. My name is Marco, this is your dose of Apple news, leaked information, tech rumors and reviews. Make sure you subscribe, slap the like button and enable all notifications so you don't miss the next video. This one is powered by Moth. Check out their latest accessories via digital marketing channel. The link is in the description and in the pinned comment. Now let's roll. Tangent iPad has arrived with new, more modern design that follows the footsteps of iPad Pro, iPad Air and iPad Mini product lines, which is definitely way to go. Sharp and flat edges, we were anticipating the moment we've heard there may be USB-C port. This model has now arrived in four new colors, blue, pink, silver and yellow, which I consider my favorite color in this case. Contrary to its all previous iterations, 2022 standard iPad removed the iconic home button and went completely with edge-to-edge -edge display, which is now liquid retina with round corners still 60 hertz with 10.9 inch diagonal. While in many ways it's impressive, Apple seems stubborn in refusing to give it laminated display. If you've seen one of many of my iPad 10 videos, you've probably heard me saying that bezel as design is possible and Apple can still cut enough corners to prevent it to become a threat to the sales of the iPad Air. So for the lack of lamination, put the blame on the Air. But then for the lack of P3, ultra wide color gamut, shoot the fruit. Back camera has been upgraded to 12 megapixel shooter, which is cool. Now, if you are such insane optimist to believe, there may be face ID now that 12 megapixel front camera is positioned by default in a landscape mode. Sorry to break it to you. The touch ID is still a thing, and it's now located in the power button as seen on the last two generations of the iPad Air as well as 2021 iPad mini. Nevertheless, by relocating its ultra-wide front-facing shooter to the side, Apple really nailed it big time. This makes much more sense. But do you know what doesn't make sense? I'm looking at your front camera iPad Pro. What the f***? What's cool is that we finally got stereo speakers. Would they be on the pair with the ones on the iPad Air or iPad Mini? No reason why not to, but then everything is possible. Removal of the lightning connector for the sake of USB-C is the smart move, even if it's 2.0. I don't blame EU for pushing this initiative across various device categories. No. I know it's not Thunderbolt, but it's still a big step forward. But then it's coming something that really hurts my eyes and comments sense. If you look around the iPad edges, there is no magnetic charging connector. And with that, no support for Apple Pencil 2. Why in the world would this model still be stuck with the first generation? So it was easier to include an extra USB-C to lightning adapter in the original Apple Pencil box. As always, Apple is doing this intentionally. And at one point, the switch to second gen will be one of the features of some future iterations. As far as internals goes, we were anticipating this. While Apple didn't confirm yet, I'm still positive that there is a four gigs of memory inside paired with its A14 Bionic chip. This is really capable hexa core processor. And with four GPU cores, you shouldn't have any difficulties even with some of the most demanding tasks. Unfortunately for many users, this would not mean a lot. Many wouldn't be able even to utilize all the potential of this silicon. Apple has also brought 5G connectivity, 5.2 generation Bluetooth and Wi-Fi 6 because it was about time. Maybe it wasn't the right time to price it 450 bucks. Seriously, Apple, in Europe, this will likely reach around 570, 580 euros, which is just too much. Not to mention how much it will cost in my country. 
and that's a big jump from 329 to 449 is it worth maybe it's a new product and should last long with at least five years of port it's fast it's capable and it could easily be used by different users types but from my standpoint 10 generation ipad suffers from four big problems first is the display why there is no lamination or white color gamut second is support for apple pencil one there is absolutely no need for it third is its price and if you decide to buy it along with the beautiful magic keyboard folio which by the way is apple's newest accessory it will cost you 700 bucks in total man the last issue and maybe the biggest problem at least for me is confusion what this device should be in the first place it's like the ipad 10 is the product with the uh, identity crisis is this actually some kind of ipad air 4 wannabe or prototype or what is it because it sure looks like it don't get me wrong i think exactly the same when i talk about the air 5 and how it compares to the 11 inch ipad pro but that's another story for another time this ipad is stuck between two categories the air and its predecessor which by the way didn't replace and just for fun with its magic keyboard folio it almost looks like microsoft surface anyway 2022 ipad is a great looking product although i'm not surprised that apple decided to keep 9 generation 2 because there are fans of the home button and for now apple doesn't want to risk of losing those users they will keep it for some time in the meanwhile i am considering purchase of this model and just for the sake of the channel you know to unbox it test it and compare it to my ipad pro probably i will sell it later that would be all very soon tomorrow or maybe day after we will talk about the newest ipad pro lineup in the meanwhile i hope you found this video useful and if you liked it hit the thumbs up subscribe and turn on notifications thank you so much for watching this tomarking channel my name is Marco. Talk to you soon. Have an excellent day. Bye.